Hello to everyone. Welcome to this new tutorial of the back for SketchUp. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit and insert the default windows of the back. Let's start by clicking on the window tool in the debug toolbar. In this box, I can change the parameters of the default window of the back, such as the length of the window, its height, the alineation in relation to the wall thickness, the number of sashes, and the maximum length of each sash. In this case, I'm going to change only the parameters of the length and height. Once I accept these values, the window will appear in the model attached to one end. As you can see, when I drag the window to the drawing, it adjusts the size to the thickness of the wall. It also changes its position depending on the location of the window in relation to the wall. So if I drag it towards the exterior, the window will change its orientation. In this case, I want to insert the window in the interior of the wall. To do this, the window has to turn pink. Only then I can click to confirm the insertion. We can delete this window using the SketchUp rubber tool and clicking on the window pressing the Alt key. You can see that the back automatically fixes the insertion on the wall. Now I select again the window tool to create a new window. I'll keep the parameters as they are. If I press the tab key, the anchor point of the window will change from one end to the center. Every time we create a new window, we can select two parameters. The elevation of the window from the base of the wall do not confuse with the height of the window itself and the possibility to force the window at a certain distance from the closest intersection. The values of these two parameters are defined in the measurement box of a SketchUp, making sure we separate the two values with a comma. Now this window will have an elevation of one meter from the base and if I have this component attached to one of its ends and press the control key the window is forced at 35 centimeters from the closest intersection. Now I'm going to convert the drawing to 3D to confirm that the height has been applied correctly. To do this, I make a group, I keep the group selected, and I click on the 3D icon. You can see that the window has been inserted correctly and if I check the height, you can see that it is exactly one meter from the base. Now I'm going to create a new window. I'm going to change its length to 2.5 meters. Now the height is going to be 1.2 and the window will have three sashes instead of two. I press OK to confirm and now if I press the tab key the anchor point will be in the center of the window. Only now if I press the control key the window will be placed exactly in the center of the wall. I'm going to delete this window to show you how to create a large window which will occupy the whole length of the selected wall. To do this, I create a new window and keep the same parameters as before. Now, I can place this window in the wall and if I press the shift key, I will extend the window to the full length of the wall. Now I'm going to show you how to create a glass door with the window tool. Here I select the window tool and type a length value of 1.8 meters. Now the height of the glass door will be 2.3 and the alineation will be 50. This means that the glass door will be inserted in the middle of the thickness of the wall. Finally, I indicate the amount of sashes, which will be 2. 
Now, if I want this window to be at a distance of 40 cm from the intersection, I will have to type comma to indicate the value of the second parameter, which is force, and type 0 0.4. When I press enter, you can see that the first parameter, elevation, stays the same as it was before. If I just want to change the elevation, I will have to type the value without comma because it is the first parameter in the box and it will be for example 1 meter and I press enter. However, I want this window to be at the base of the model because it is a glass door. Therefore, I type 0 and press enter. Now the window is ready to be inserted. It is attached to the center of the window so if I want to place it in the center of the wall I just have to press Control and click to confirm the insertion. I'm going to convert the floor plan to 3D to see the windows. I make a group, select the group and click on the 2D 3D icon. You can see that the windows have been placed correctly and its measurements are displayed in 3D. One last thing that is interesting to mention is that all these components are dynamic components. Therefore, if I open the dynamic components tool, I can see all the attributes of the window. I can change from here, for example, the number of sashes of the windows if I want to. And if I go back to the 2D view, you'll see that the changes are also displayed in 2D. As always, very powerful and very easy. We'll meet you soon in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. See ya!